I built hinges that are along the edge there, and as you pull them up, the top piece of the hinge kind of falls into a slot to hold the hood up. And that's just friction that holds it up friction. once you get up there. Though. Yeah. Turn wow. it over, yeah. and, the, and the pin falls back out. Put it closer. Put it closer. And it goes up. back down. Yeah. Doug White from Model Car Muse. And as you know, and I mentioned it before, my favorite year for Ford pickups is 1956. Possibly the most beautifully designed pickup to ever come out of a factory. I'm here with Ron Butterfield. He's got two pickups that capture that Ford style. He's got a 1-1 version of this truck. That was your inspiration, starting on the 1-1? Well, basically, you know, I'm just like you, 56 Fords. I've owned four of them in my lifetime, four real ones. But this is the last one, finally, about 12 years ago, I said, I'm gonna build one like I really want it. I built it and then I tore it apart and I repainted it and the upholstered and stuff, the real car. Then I built the model based on that because, well, Ravel came out with a beautiful 56 body with the, with the FD100 body. The cab is almost perfect for a big window. The, okay. It's the Foos FD100. Oh, right, okay, yeah. sure. That's that cab. But that, that had a different hood though, right? Yeah, it did. The cab proportions on the FD100, the cab itself, are really pretty correct. But he's modified the hood and the box and all that stuff. So I used the AMT 53 Ford front fenders hood because they're really, really correct. I used the back fenders off of that 53 Ford. I used the tailgate off of the 53 Ford, but I modified it a bit. It's a little bit too fat, so I sliced two of them and thinned them out, put some wire in between that, meshed them together, and then so I, I put the wire in for strength so when I painted it with the acrylics, it wouldn't warp. The box is out of the Rebel 50 Ford kit. So that's interchangeable. Exactly, though. absolutely is, yeah. yeah. Oh, I and didn't that, know that. And that, that box is, is more crisply detailed and, and built than like the 53 Ford from AMT because the, the stake poles yeah. in, that, yeah. in that box are better. So I use that. Newer tooling. Better tooling, yeah, yeah, better tooling. So you pretty much looked at all the possibilities, picked out the best tooling, modified it as needed to make an accurate Yeah, yeah. and what's nice body. was, because I had it in my garage, and I, I got pretty intimate with the truck as I was building the real one, oh, so sure. I knew everything about it. I took the, most, you know, the measurements off of the, like the fenders and all that stuff, really, really close on the AMT stuff, the fenders, the hood, and the back fenders, and and the thing on the on the cab for the for the FD100. About the only thing that's that I found that was really off to a stock Ford cab yeah. is that on the cowl, the windshield comes all the way down flat to the cowl where if you look at a real 56 Ford, it's got a little curve that goes up about an inch and a half. And so I just modified the windshield, brought that up just a bit, put that little curve in so the cowl comes like this and the little curve up, and then I put the trim around for the window. For so the in essence, there's paint color that starts to roll up yeah. before the trim for starts. For about an inch and a half. Wow, and then, yeah. and that's, then, de yeah. that's attention to detail. Yeah. And your trim, that metal is gorgeous. Yeah, so the way I did that was I bought 18 and 20 gauge craft bead wire and I used my X-Acto knife handle yeah. on a piece of glass and I rolled it out, flattened it out. Mm -hmm. And then I glued it around the trim. I kind of sanded the trim off, the plastic trim off. Sure, get like a bit of a gutter yeah. in there for that glued, to fit yep, in? Glued that around there. And then after I painted the cab, as I was sanding and, and polishing the paint, the paint came off of the aluminum yeah. trim and I had stainless trim. It's definitely not chrome foil. No, it's I mean, not chrome foil. No, you, I, 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 I can't do chrome foil. I can't, I can't do chrome smooth. foil. Yeah, it's, and what's nice about the Rebel kit is the windshield and the back window, they fit in there like a glove. Just Rebel a did a beautiful fit. job, so yeah. yeah, it fits right in there. So I didn't want to ruin that. I didn't want to lose that. No. So that's why I did it that way I did it. And you have opening doors. So yeah, the doors open, the tailgate opens, the hood opens, and then if you pull it all the way up, it catches. Yeah, and then the doors open. Doors open up, and then I, I replicated the door jam detail. So you basically would run out to the garage, oh, oh, confirm that it's right, always measure. measure a bit. Yeah, yeah, always measure. Back. Yeah. The, the custom interior is a replica of the custom interior that a lady has done for me. The seats are a combination of kits, and you know I pulled the, the tuck and roll out of kits somewhere, okay. and yeah. and I kind of molded it in there. The door panel the same way, and so that's all scratch built. So beautiful. Yeah. So be and the wheels. The wheels are just off of the Revell 32 Ford. I think this is, well, any, any of them. I think I used the five-window coupe on this one. Yep. Uh, wheels and tires. 
The bed floor is basswood, cherry stained basswood. And then I took aluminum and carved aluminum to make the bed strips. That's actually, that's not foil. No, aluminum. That's truly aluminum. That's, yeah. wow. well, see, that looks great. See, during COVID, yeah. I was on a lot of Zoom meetings, so I had time. So while I was in my Zoom meetings, I was carving bed strips. <laughs> <laughs> just below ca just below camera level. I have no lathe and I don't have any yeah. equipment. I got a vice grip and a Dremel tool and files. Ah. So I just kind of carve. Beautiful work. Then, Good craftsmanship. Tail light brackets are carved out of aluminum. The tail light back pieces yeah. are carved out of aluminum. And those are stock Ford tail lights yeah. with the round the, and the crust on yeah, top yeah. and Ford. The Ford tail lights yeah. came out of the old Revell 56 kit, the old one, because yeah. they the were correct. One because the face of those is correct, but not the way it was attached. So I made the buckets carved out of aluminum and the brackets that hold it on. Wow, and a beautiful color. It's a, it's a dark GM Tahoe, like a GM pickup, 2014, 2015. It was the paint that I, we painted my real truck with. I used that paint. And that gorgeous Ford grill. And that grill yeah. from the Foose kit works as that is, a stock it's like, grill. It's a stock grill. I was wondering if you had it. modified that. Not at all. That's just right out of the kit. My real car has a Crate 350 motor in it. And so I took the block out of uh, the 37 yeah. Ford Revell. It's got a nice block, and the, mm -hmm. and the transmission, is, I got a 350 turbo, so I use that Glass. engine transmission. Yeah. And then I got the valve covers out of something, I don't know what, and the air cleaner. And, and then uh, I fabricated all the brackets mm -hmm. for the pulleys to replicate what I have in my truck, and then it's all plumbed. And you did rack companion steering? You replicated off your one-to-one yeah. -one truck? So basically what it is, this was the 53 Ford pickup frame that I started with, yep. and then I cut it right here, and you can see the channel. So I make, oh, yeah. made the channel because it's boxed. The real car is boxed up to here and then boxed back here, but it's open here, so I built that with the channel in there. And then I, I made the brackets that are pretty correct to the what's on the 53 Ford. This bracket comes out of the 50 Ford pickup, the Revell, oh. because it's correct. The 53 wow. Ford, that cross member, is not correct. My real truck has the Heights Mustang II front end suspension, mm -hmm. so I built those out of, that's all paper clips. Paper clips and plastic is how I made the A-arms, and the, the rack is just, you know, various sizes of aluminum tubing and stuff. Yeah, and it's posable. It out with the boots, that's really cool. The rear end, again, I use paper clips for the four links. I built the brackets. This is a, also in a Heights style, yeah. and so I just copied their style. And then these are the old, you remember R&D Unique? Oh yeah. This is their coilover, but I modified it to me to look to me more correct because yeah. I kind of flipped it around, turned it upside down, did some filing on it, and it's just to me more correct. And then this is just a chunk of aluminum that I carved up to make a make a gas tank. And then these, this is solder. I made the exhaust oh, out of solder. You know those exhaust clamps are yeah. gorgeous oh, yeah. on there. Now those are old detail master detail exhaust yeah. uh, uh, that I've had for 20 years laying around. And so, in a nutshell, that's it. Yeah,